This is the question that fascinates people even today. How did the ancient Egyptians build the pyramids? Most stones came from nearby quarries, but some granite blocks were brought from Aswan, over 800 kilometers away. Scientists believe they were transported on boats along the Nile. On land, workers probably used wooden slats to drag the stones. Recent discoveries suggest they pour water on the sand in front of the slat, reducing friction and making the sand firmer. This is smart science. Wet sand can reduce the force needed to drag heavy loads by half. But how did they lift stones higher and higher? There are several theories. A straight ramp going up one side of the pyramid, a zigzagging ramp on the pyramid face, or a spiral ramp built around the pyramid as it grew. We don't know the exact method, but experiments show that with enough workers, ropes and wooden rollers, it was possible. It was not just about strength, it was about organization. Imagine thousands of workers divided into teams. Each team had a job, cutting stones, transporting, building ramps, placing blocks and finishing surfaces. Archaeological evidence shows they had a kind of city for workers near Giza, with bakeries, breweries and even medical care. This shows that pyramid building was not done by slaves in chains. It was done by a skilled, organized workforce, proud of their role in a national project. 